A Boardman business is promising to stay in operation after an early morning fire. Flames ripped through part of Angel Carriers this morning, destroyed a couple of the company's vans. 27 First News reporter Jerry Ricciuti talked to the owners about how it all started. The first one on the scene this morning, Boardman Fire Chief Mark Pitzer knew his people had their hands full. Heavy fire inside the structure, the van was on fire inside, our guys made a great stop and, uh, you know, extinguished the fire. Crews were called to Angel Carriers on Market Street around 8.30. We're told mechanics using a cutting torch on one of the company's vans in a garage sparked the blaze, quickly filling the business with thick smoke as workers fled to safety. God blessed us, no one was hurt. Tammy Jones and her sister and owner, Natalie Rodway, immediately got to work transferring phone lines so they could communicate with their drivers and clients. Angel Carriers provides non-emergency transportation for people needing to get to medical services or doctor's offices. In fact, we were making arrangements to have those lines transferred even as the fire department was here extinguishing the fire. Once the flames had been doused, workers had the chance to survey the damage. Two vans were destroyed and the walls were all covered with black soot except for one area where photos of Tammy and Natalie's parents were hanging. They were relatively unscathed. The company itself began when my father, Ned Riley, saw a need for non-emergent medical transportation as a result of my mother's own illness and needs. That was in 2007 when the company had just one van. A year later, after their father died, Natalie took over and has since added nearly two dozen employees and a fleet of vehicles. We won't leave anybody stranded or nobody without rides. And as crews began making repairs, Natalie and Tammy say the company will remain in operation, thinking someone was watching over them this morning. In Boardman, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.